Mr. Speaker, I beg to present for second reading a bill shortly entitled Fisheries Amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the purpose of this bill is to amend the Fisheries Act 715 to, to include two new sections to the bill. In 1994, the SMMB was established to serve as the institutional and technical framework for the management of coastal resources in the Sufra area, which were areas under conflict due to diverse use of resources by users. The SMMB was initially authorized to manage 11 kilometers of coastline in the Sufra area, which includes marine reserves, fishing priority areas, multiple use areas, recreational areas, and yacht moorings. In 1995, the SMMA under the Fisheries Act was designated as a local fisheries management authority. However, the areas of responsibility for the SMMA includes fishing in addition to scuba diving, snorkeling, yacht moorings, and other approved activities. This designation, Mr. Speaker, solely as a local fisheries authority has hampered the operations of the SMMA as it lacks the legislative framework to effectively manage the other aforementioned services within the SMMA boundaries. This lack of legislation, Mr. Speaker, has resulted in the inability of the association, association to enforce protection and conservation measures within the designated area and to collect associate, associated fees for services related to entry fees, snorkeling and swimming, dive permits, and yacht moorings. Therefore, the proposed amendment, Mr. Speaker, to the Fisheries Act intends to remedy the situation and bring some measure of normalcy to the operations of the SMMA, as now there will be stronger alignment between the role of the SMMA and the legal authority. The bill also makes provision, firstly, for the amendment to allow the minister to designate a local marine cooperative or association, and then further allows for the designated marine management authority to make its bylaws for the conduct and regulation of its affairs. Mr. Speaker, the amendment would allow the minister to also proceed with the designation of the SMME as a marine management authority that would contribute towards resolving the long-standing issues of, the challenge of, of challenges by users regarding the SMME authority to collect user fees and to regulate the activities within its boundaries. In addition, Mr. Speaker, breaches to the bylaws would now be constituted as an offense and on summary conviction, a related, related fine not exceeding $10,000 can be charged. So basically, Mr. Speaker, the SMMA had been operate, operating on as a local authority, but it did not have the legislative, the legislative framework to be able to allow it to collect user fees. And for persons who know the significance of the marine environment in the super area, its whole involvement in, in tourism and so on, Mr. Speaker, it was necessary for us to make that amendment so it would give the SMME the authority to collect fees from the divers, the boat owners, and so the sustainability of the SMME would be on a, on a positive footing. So what it does to the bill, Mr. Speaker, is to include two new sections. Section one would be 22A, which gives it the authority for the establishment of the Marine Management Authority, and 22B, Mr. Speaker, would be establishing the bylaws of the Marine Management Authority. So basically, it's inserting those two new sections to the bill. This matter of the SMMA, Mr. Speaker, has been a very long, outstanding one, and I know on numerous occasions, the member for Supreme Jacques has been 
very concerned about the sustainability of the SMME and as a result we saw it necessary fitting and fitting for us to make the amendment to this bill. Mr. Speaker, I want to also take time and, um, to thank the Cabinet of Ministers for approving uh, our long-awaited <coughs> fisheries policy last year in 2022. And this was a real a bold step to advance government policy direction for the fisheries subsector. Mr. Speaker, the fisheries policy provides a roadmap towards sustained growth and development of the fisheries and aquaculture subsectors as it integrates other national policies existing or emerging, particularly where they have implications for fisheries value chain actors and the marine environment, Mr. Speaker. So the approval of this policy by the cabinet, Mr. Speaker, is in line with what is happening in terms of our amendment to the fisheries bill and to give the SMME more legislative power to be able to collect fees and to keep or maintain the SMME on a sustainable path. This is basically what it entails, Mr. Speaker, and I ask for the support of the honorable members towards this bill.